video is my opinion and should not be used for financial advice. Let's look at this article and then let's talk about some things. Parliamentary source Al Kazemi's government will print the currency to pay employee salaries. A parliamentary source confirmed Thursday that the government of Prime Minister Kazemi will go to print a new local currency in order to pay the salaries of employees. The source said to I of Iraq News, this measure is one of the solutions to overcome the economic crisis that is ravaging the country, so it is necessary to find harmless solutions for the future generations, such as the use of cash or gold reserves in the central bank. He pointed out that we, after the application of this procedure, we expect a decrease of the Iraq dinar exchange rate against the dollar, stressing that this will have a positive impact on activating the industry in Iraq and not resorting to global or regional markets that provide goods to Iraq at low oil prices, uh, yeah, low, pro low prices of the high exchange rate. The dinar is compared to the currency of Turkey, Iran, and others. Let's kind of stop right there, okay, because there's some key points. Notice how they what I just read to you, they said the Iraq's, the dinar or Iraq's currency is actually compared to Turkey, Iran, and others. That's a bunch of crap, guys. It's not. I mean, back in 1973, Iraq's currency was worth $3.37 against the dollar. So Iraq's currency has been much stronger valued than any other currency in the Middle East. So no, it's not compared to Turkey, Iran and others it's really been by itself and and you you can't compare it to any other currencies due to its its high value it's had through time especially over the last 100 years okay and then I want to stress one more thing in the paragraph above that they said they talked about decreasing the exchange rate against the dollar well let's look at just some simple some simple information here if iraq could have decreased their exchange rate and they could have gone international they most likely would have already done it guys but if you notice they haven't they haven't decreased their exchange rate and gone inter international this is only one article telling us they plan to decrease their exchange rate let's look at what they've told us through time over the last many years what they've told us over the last many years is that they have intentions of actually increasing their exchange rate and releasing lower denoms. Now, last year they put out boatloads of articles about the coins. The coins can only come out at an increased exchange rate when the currency has a high value. So my point is, why would they tell you about coins last year, which can only be released at a high exchange rate, and here they're telling you about decreasing the exchange rate against it all guys be very careful what you believe okay this article is has lies and bs written all over it that's what i'm trying to show you here okay this is not an article you want to believe it it doesn't it, like i said iraq hasn't even gone international okay because they have to um they have the the, the exchange rate has to increase guys it has to this article is all bs and lies okay that's what i'm trying to point out to you so Anyway, let's continue with the article. All right. The financial advisor to the Prime Minister, Mohammed Saleh, had determined on Wednesday the loan disbursements that the government intends to request from home and abroad. Saleh said in a press statement the government submitted a new draft law to Parliament in order to authorize it to borrow from internal and external financing sources in order to bridge the deficit and enhance public financial liquidity when necessary. The borrowing came because of the financial hardship that the country is going through in order to bridge the, re the revenue deficit gap against fixed expenditures, especially in the operating budget. He added the legal cover did not provide the government with internal and external borrowing due to the lack of federal budget law for the year of 2020. He pointed out that internal and external loans will be included in the event of, of legislation for the budget year of 2020 or its alternative, the final account at the end of the fiscal year as a reality. 
Salas said, extra loans will go towards supporting investment projects and completing the stalled loans and the urgent need to launch them, while internal loans will be allocated towards the operational budget and the government's need for insurance of salaries and others. It is mentioned that the Iraqi Council of Ministers approved the draft law, the draft of the domestic foreign borrowing law to finance the fiscal deficit for the year of 2020 and refer to it Parliament in accordance with the provisions of the constitutional articles. So guys, look at everything they told you last year. They put a huge emphasis on releasing coins at an increased exchange rate. They talked about all this, all of this post-rate change stuff, reforms, reconstruction, uh, Article 140, oil and gas law. And if you've noticed, they haven't even started the budget yet. All they're doing right now is just talking about the budget. They haven't even, um, they haven't even uh, told you when they're going to start. The, they said they were going to start the budget before Eid, but that's a, that's a boatload of crap because the, the, the budget, if anything, it needs to be amended, okay? And then they're going to have to change the price of oil within that budget. So what they're showing you guys is they most likely are not going to be able to start the budget until after the rate has changed, especially if the budget has post-rate change items in it. They can't start it until the rate has changed. That's what the budget's waiting on is the rate change if it has post-rate change items in it. And it most likely does. The reforms, an, an article came out just in the last day or two where they're saying they really need to get the oil and gas law implemented. That's where they disperse oil proceed checks to the citizens. Okay, So guys, we're sitting in a very good position right now. If you've noticed... Right now, the government and parliament is not doing anything. They're just, they're just, they went from forming the government and then from there they put out an explosion of economic articles. Guys, that should be very telling to you because if you notice, they put the, the whole, the whole economic process was put on hold due to the pending formation of the government. Okay. Then once they get the government formed, they just, they put out a boatload of economic economic articles guys that should be very telling and revealing to you okay but if you also notice within that same breath they aren't doing anything right now parliament's most likely not unless they're going to approve the next seven ministers parliaments may not meet until after eid okay so every everything's looking very good for us guys we just have to see keep pushing forward and see how it all plays out okay and don't forget God has left a lot of breadcrumbs for us right now, okay? God gave us the Dow at 20,000 points on the date I shared with you guys of March 17th, okay? That was God telling us most likely when the rate change process was going to start. God also said, why now during the most you know difficult, challenging time period we're in, okay? The why, why now? Um... He also gave a 2 nothing suddenly, 3 nothings, 4 nothing suddenly, most likely 3, 4, and 5, March, April, May. That would be our season. Okay? Let's see how it all plays out, but right now everything...